Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share two recipes with you guys using one of my favorite autumn vegetables which is cauliflower and uh, I'll be roasting both of them in the oven. The first one will be roasted whole and the second one will be in steaks and they both come with really yummy sauces that I'll show you how to make as well. But before we get to cooking I want to thank Skillshare yet again for sponsoring another one of my videos and if you don't know who Skillshare are it's an online learning community which has more than 25,000 different video tutorials covering various different topics. Everything from creative subjects like photographing, filming, editing, to more business-like <laughs> topics such as strategizing, organizing, and lots more. So it's a really versatile platform where you can learn lots of different skills. It's helped me a lot in what I do. And if you want to try it out too, I'll leave a link in the description box which gives you two months free of charge access to Skillshare Premium where you can try out all the classes. But for now, let's do some cooking. The first recipe we're making is a whole roasted cauliflower with a turmeric and yogurt sauce. And to start off, I'm just taking my head of cauliflower and removing the big leaves, so just trimming it. And you can actually eat these leaves in a salad or roast them, but I'm just removing them and then I'm cutting off the stem so that the cauliflower head can sit flat on the surface and I'm placing it in an oven dish. And um, for the roasting, I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil to to the cauliflower. So I'm using olive oil here. I'm just placing a little bit in my hands and then I'm rubbing it all around the cauliflower. And I make sure to get the underneath as well. And when it's all coated with the oil, I'm taking a knife and I'm scoring a, an X into the stem of it. This will help um, cook the stem a little bit and make sure it's not too tough at the end of the cooking process. So once I've done that, I just pour a little bit of water into the pan, which helps cook the cauliflower at this first stage of roasting. And then I'm just placing it in the hot oven and roasting it for about 45 minutes. So while that's roasting away, I'm going to make the sauce. So I have a little bit of vegan yogurt in a glass and I'm adding some maple syrup for sweetness but you could use any liquid sweetener you prefer and then I'm also adding in some lemon juice and I'm using this from a bottle but you could use fresh as well of course and then I'm adding in some tahini as well which adds a nice um, nutty flavor to the sauce and then I'm also adding in some water and a pinch of salt of course and finally some turmeric. So I'm using ground turmeric here and I just add it into the little glass and mix it all up. And this sauce is a really nice creamy yogurty dressing or sauce that contrasts the umami flavored cauliflower really well. So I'm just pouring this into a little pouring jug for sauces and I let this sit and the longer you let it sit the more yellow it becomes from the turmeric so it's nice to actually do it overnight if you have the time. And then I'm preparing the base for the cauliflower and I've just got some concentrated vegetable stock there so in Sweden we call it a fond and then I'm adding a little bit of olive oil to it and bringing out the cauliflower from the oven which has been roasting for quite a long time now as you can see it's got some color and then I just baste the cauliflower with this mixture um, yeah just rub it all around the cauliflower it gives it a really nice flavor it has a really rich and uh, deep flavor this kind of vegetable bouillon or um, fond as we call it and then I'm also drizzling on some lemon juice and putting it back in the oven for 15 minutes and then I bring it out again because we want to have this really rich flavor all around the cauliflower. So I baste it once more with the stock concentrate or bouillon or fond as we call it in Sweden. And I make sure it's all around the cauliflower before I put it back in the oven for another 15 minutes. But this time I'm putting it a little higher in the oven as you can see here so that we get a nice um, little bit of crisp on the outside of that cauliflower. And then when it's done, I'm just gonna place it on my serving plate and it's a really nice centerpiece this dish so it's great for sharing and um, to top it all off I'm gonna add some fresh parsley which I just rip up and sprinkle all over it adds a bit of freshness to the dish 
And then I'm also adding on some pomegranate jewels or kernels, or whatever you prefer to call them. I love using them in the season. It adds a nice little pop of color and a little bit of sweetness and a crunch. And I'm also adding on some toasted almonds, which I just chopped up and toasted in a dry pan. And that is the combination for the toppings done. So I'm just gonna pour on my sauce, which you can see now has got this more deep yellow color. And it's a really nice, cool addition to the otherwise very hot and richly flavored cauliflower. And I really hope you will enjoy this dish. I like to serve it with rice or maybe even some roasted potatoes. The second recipe I want to show you how to make is cauliflower steaks with a chimichurri sauce. And again, I'm just starting by removing the big leaves off of the cauliflower stem. And then I'm cutting the whole cauliflower from the stem down through the middle. And then on the side, I'm cutting about a half an inch thick slice of the cauliflower. So you want to do this close to the center so that you have that stability from the core or the stem of the cauliflower, which gives you these nice steaks. And then I'm removing the bottom bit of that stem because no one wants to eat that. And uh, then I'm just placing it onto a baking dish. And then I'm preparing some oil with some chicken seasoning that I'm gonna just brush onto the cauliflower steaks. So I just mix the chicken seasoning mix that I bought from the store with a little bit of rapeseed oil or you could use olive oil. And then I'm brushing it all over the cauliflower. I was a little bit generous here. You can use a little bit less, but if you follow the recipe that's in the description box or it's linked in the description box, then you'll get it just right. So yeah, I just brush it all over the cauliflower and I make sure I get the sides and then I flip them over so that I can baste or brush the other side as well. And once they've been brushed all the way around, I'm just taking them off to the oven and roasting them. This is a very simple way of cooking cauliflower that's super delicious and also works as a main dish, which is cool. So I'm gonna make the chimichurri sauce that goes on top of the cauliflower steak. So I'm starting by chopping up quite a big bunch of flat leaf parsley. And you want to chop this up really finely. And this sauce is really a sort of marinade. So it's a little bit spicy, a little bit sour, a little bit garlicky and herby and it's super nice with cauliflower that's otherwise quite a neutral flavor and once I've chopped up all my parsley I'm placing it in a little bowl that I'm gonna mix the sauce in so I just scoop it all in there and then I'm gonna add a teaspoon or so of chili flakes and yeah, you just pop them right in as they are. And once the marinade has sat for a little bit, once you've mixed it all, it will release the spiciness. And then I'm adding in some finely chopped shallots, as well as uh, a pressed garlic clove. And if you don't like garlic too much, you can leave it out or just use uh, slightly less than I'm using here. And then to bring it all together, I'm using olive oil as well as lemon juice again. And like I said before, I'm using bottled, but you can use fresh, of course. So then once I measure that out, I just pour it all into the bowl and then I'm just gonna give it a really good mix to combine and then set it aside. And again, this is a sauce that you can really make the night before, which will make the flavors marry really well and uh, bring it all together nicely. But if you don't have time, 15 minutes, half an hour is cool too. And don't forget a pinch of salt, quite a generous one, which just adds a nice seasoning to the sauce. Once the cauliflower steaks have been roasting for about 15 minutes, I like to go over to the oven and flip them over to give them a nice sort of golden look on both sides. So that's what I'm doing there. And then I like to move them up in the oven a little bit again to give it more of a color on that second side. And once that's been roasting for another 10 minutes or so, I bring it out of the oven and as you can see, they're steaming hot and I've got a little bit of caramelization around the edges, which is exactly what you want. And then we're ready to serve it up. 
And as you can see, I made six steaks here, which means I used three heads of cauliflower, but you could make two or 10. It's really easy to uh, adapt to it, however many people you're serving. And then I'm just placing this chimichurri sauce all over the cauliflower steaks. And I'm also gonna add some thyme on top. So this is some fresh thyme, which is really flavorsome. It adds a nice peppery flavor, but you could also use microgreens, which, which will look equally pretty, but have less of a flavor if you prefer to keep it a little bit more plain. So that's the second recipe done. And I really, really hope you will try this. It's delicious and great for dinners with friends. And to serve it, I would maybe make a lentil salad or a grain salad, maybe some green salad, but the options are really endless and it's just delicious on its own as well. Especially with the chimichurri sauce, which really lifts these more plain tasting vegetables. So you can try it with other dishes as well. And now you might be wondering what to do with all those sides of the cauliflower. So here's a little bonus tip for you. I like to make a really creamy cauliflower soup from the leftovers because we don't want to be wasting. And I've put this recipe on my Instagram, so I'll link that down below if you want to try it. And you'll find the links to the other recipes in the description box as well if you want to try those. I really hope you do and I really hope you enjoyed seeing what I do in my kitchen with all this cauliflower. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video and I wish you all a very lovely day.